What's up guys, today I'm doing a video using the Super Deaker, which is essentially a video game for your stick handling where you accurately have to stick handle over a bunch of laser targets in 45 seconds. Now they just came out with a new model, so let's take a look at the old model first and see what's changed. Uh, the main points are the rebounders changed, and they also have a cover on top of it so the puck won't flip over. Uh, it has the scoreboard built into the system as opposed to being separate. It now has a beeping sound every time the puck goes over the laser. <laughs> as well as a 10 seconds left countdown. And lastly, it has three different game modes, which we will go in depth explaining later. So for those of you who didn't see, Nasher61 made a video breaking my record. Uh, I think he got 61 uh, and my original record was 56. The video where I got 56 was recorded at a trade show and was my first time using the training aid. Fell in love with it there, uh, but it's time to go to my very own training facility in North Vancouver, the Pavel Barber Sport Lab, with my very own stick, and see what I can get. Alright, so there's my first score of 63. Uh, I did feel like I could do better, so I decided to go again. So I did beat my old score of 63, got 64, but I just missed the last one, so I was really wanting to get 65 before I left the lab. So here we go. I did make my way to 65. I was pretty happy with that, but definitely want to get 70. That'll be my next goal, so I'll continue to work hard to get that score. Now for a little review and detail on the training aid, starting with the biggest thing that I think needs fixing, the puck. The puck is simply made of plastic with a little magnet encased in the middle of it. Uh, it will definitely break if you shoot it on a post or against a wall, anything. It's very fragile. Uh, even as I found flipping on up into the air and having it hit the ground on my tiles, which are not very hard at all, uh, ended up splitting it in two. Now it didn't actually break the plastic, but it did separate into two pieces and when trying to put them together they wouldn't click in and I actually had to use clear tape to keep the puck together. Now it works fine, but definitely should not have to keep a puck together uh, by using clear tape. Now in terms of what's inside the puck, there is a magnet fixed inside uh, composed of two pieces. Uh, that allows the puck to communicate with the laser system and counts your points. It's a pretty awesome system, uh, but I do think they need to increase the durability of the puck. I'm also unsure of the weight of the puck. It does feel a little bit lighter than 6 ounces, which is a standard puck. Uh, so I think it'd be a good idea to make them the exact same weight. 
It does tell you to use a certain side up and a certain side down. However, I found with this new Super Deaker, it actually worked on both sides, whereas on the old version, it only worked on one. This is a major improvement because if at one point the puck flipped up during stick handling on the old one, you'd have to pick it up and flip it uh, to continue, and that was pretty frustrating. And lastly, you do need to be very accurate with the puck to get over the laser targets. I've seen kids get frustrated, even myself at times wondering, how did I not go over that? But you just need to be right over the middle of it for it to record your score. Now the next thing that needs improvement is the board itself. I found mine to be a little bit dented at the bottom of it, which caused the puck to flip up uh, because it was uneven. Now this could be an error in shipping the product, which I imagine it was, uh, but it's easily fixable by just putting some padding around it or some bubble wrap to make sure it doesn't get dented if it gets dropped or knocked around when uh, shipping it out. Next thing, and probably the biggest thing, Everyone's going to want to hit the reset button every now and then with this training aid, whether you're having a rough start or the puck flips off the edge, you're going to want to have the ability to seamlessly reset the Super Deaker so you can get right back to training. And it was not easy enough. I did find a way to do it with my stick, but it was tough to get the right angle to push the button. So if they make that button easy to push with your stick, it'll be a whole lot better. Now the other thing that people will find frustrating is when the puck goes off the board, but I don't think that's something that they should change. It's the result of inaccurately stick handling, and I know it's frustrating, trust me, I get frustrated too, but it does force you to be a more accurate stick handler in a tight space. Now the system has three modes. By pushing that same reset button, you can filter through all three modes. It'll just come out one, two, or three. Uh, number one is the one I was using to set the record, which is a straight 45 seconds to hit as many moving targets as you can, which are set in a randomized order, so you never know where it's going. Now mode number two gives you four to five seconds as well, but the targets will go away after one full second. This means that if you can't get to the target in one second, you're gonna miss it and it's not gonna count. It's a great challenge, but it's not set up for a wide range of skill levels, which I think can be improved. They should definitely have an interval system where they have to be able to choose the amount of time between each target popping up. My idea would be having it start at 0.5 seconds, go up to one, 1.5, two, 2.5, and lastly, three seconds so that beginners can use mode two as well. As it stands, only elite level stick handlers can use mode number two uh, to get good scores, and it would make much more sense from a skills progression point of view to have adjustable intervals so that kids can keep moving to the next level. And I know I would love to challenge myself against a 0.5 second interval. I feel like that would really stretch me outside my comfort zone and be really difficult to get a high score. And mode number three is a passing one. Now I was unsure of whether or not it was a glitch. Uh, but the targets kept staying on one side of the Super Deaker, which was super limiting and super frustrating. They advertise it to work on your passing, but if it just stays on one side, then it's not really fun or challenging. Uh, I did take advantage of this, however, and just started doing straight toe drags, uh, actually getting a score of 84. But uh, not the way they intended it to be used, but a good fun challenge if you want to work on your toe drag. And now some variations in the way you can use it. First up, there's a lights out version of the game, which I think is awesome. I haven't tried it yet, but the element of not being able to see where the puck is on the blade as well as the angle of the blade makes it very difficult. Uh, this will cause you to go by feel and feel alone, uh, which looks very fun and very good for your skills development.
Now the biggest comment you'll hear is great, another training aid that forces you to keep your head down or some variation of that. Despite the fact that most NHLers have an element of looking down and focusing on their stick handling in training off the ice, as well as in warmups, as well as in games, there is a way to use this by keeping your head and eyes up. As you can see here, the inventor of the video game is keeping his head and eyes up and using his peripheral vision to hit the targets. It's extremely challenging, but it's good to build towards. You want to first start looking down uh, and then slowly look up. Up. Don't jump to a level that is way too far out of the comfort zone or you won't learn anything. Master the basics first and work your way up. Now what I like most about this training aid is that it emphasizes what I call stick handling accuracy. Drawing a line from point A to point B and adjusting the blade angle and putting the puck on the proper part of the blade to get it there as quickly and efficiently as possible. Now there's also a two player option you can do so you can team up with a friend and the rules for this one is you have to stick handle over the target before passing it off to your partner who has to do the same before passing it off to you. Now I'm a big fan of the top hand strength, control and accuracy in stick handling and just by watching Cindy Crosby dominate much of the game using one hand is inspiring and shows the effectiveness of it. And this training aid allows you to isolate your top hand and use it in a fun way where you can actually quantify it. Uh, I ended up with a score of 44 with this, uh, so go at it, challenge yourself to use one hand as well. Just make sure it's your top hand. And we have Revolution Balance Boards in the Pavel Barber Sport Lab, which everyone is addicted to, especially myself. So I decided to use it while using the Super Deaker. Uh, stick handling, keeping the core tight, shifting the weight uh, by staying balanced, but also being accurate with the stick handling is a good challenge, a uh, whole lot of fun. And goalies, don't think I forgot about you. I'm always doing my how to goalie training for you guys. Just grab the puck with your hands and go at it. I got a score of Bobrovsky. So let's see if Kane Van Gate can beat that next time he's in the lab. And to end this video, I'll leave you with the unedited version of me getting the 65 score on the Super Deaker. Thanks everyone for watching and be sure to come to the Pavel Barber Sport Lab in North Vancouver, located at 20 Orwell Street, if you want to train with me. Uh, special thanks to Super Deaker for sending me the training aid. Love it. I have a lot of fun using it. I'll leave the link to their Kickstarter in the description below. Have a good day, guys. Peace. Bye.